Hello everyone, Von Yuki here again with another video. And today I'm gonna to be discussing this new purchase that I just got today. It is Easter 2021 and I just picked up the 77 inch C1 uh, by LG and is the latest and greatest OLED. Um, there are two different types of OLED screens coming out this year. And there's going to be three different tiers to the OLEDs. You have the G series, which uses the uh, OLED Evo panel, supposed to be a little bit brighter and mitigates burn-in. You have the venerable LG OLED panel, which is basically the, what's been the C9, the CX, and this year's C1. And then you have the new one, which is the A series, which is the C version's panel, but with a less expensive Alpha 7 SoC. Well, like I said, this is the 77 inch version and what you'll see here is right now I have connected my mister running the Yotego uh, CPS2 core. And with that, I'm just loaded up a game that, you know, I very much enjoy called Night Warriors. And um, it seems to be running fine. So there's no issues with getting things to match. Usually the LG OLEDs are very, very good at matching different syncs and different frequencies. Um, <clears throat> to make it even more interesting is the big difference between that I saw, I could have gotten this CX for about $500 cheaper and I got this one for about 3,100. I know a lot of places are selling it for 38, but you know, it's just who you know. So I got this for 31 and um, the big thing that made me push me to get this screen over the CX was the input delay. They made a few changes that I'm going to go into real quick because that's what I like. It's called Game Optimizer. So I'm going to go to Game Optimizer and it should bring up settings. And I have it on currently because it'll give you low input delay. And there's several things you can look into. There's the game genre, which can change the, the colors based on what you're playing. So if you're playing an FPS, it'll make certain things in the background um, a lot easier to see. Uh, if you're playing a role-playing game, it might make like the mid-tones mid look better. So it's, it's basically things to make it easier for you to game. Um, I wouldn't play an FPS on this screen. I'd probably wind up getting motion sickness. I tried... Uh, Actually, no, that's not too. That's not true. I did do do maternal on my C9, which was also 77. It was fine, but uh, I get motion sickness if I have a first-person shooter and it's just too large for me to handle. Um, so there's the standard mode and what it changes the different midtones. Now here's where I really started to look into this. Um, is this the prevent input delay? So let's take a look at the setting. All right, so standard reduces the input delays by optimizing for a type of game content. So basically, what is this? If you send 60 hertz in, it'll actually play at 60 hertz. So this TV has very good uh, input lag numbers. I believe that they said uh, 4K60 was running about 12 millisecond. That's pretty good. I mean, it, it's LG has been you know pushing that forward and forward, but once you go to the boost, what it does is it makes the TV take that 60 hertz and it double frames it to 120 hertz. Now your input delay goes from 12 down to 9. I tried it out. I didn't really feel a difference between 12 and 9. I'll be honest with you. I mean, just trying it out. My friend who was over, he said he felt the difference. But it might have been placebo because I was messing around with him. After about 20 minutes of him playing with it on standard, I asked him, I was like, hey, how's the input delay? He was like, oh, it's fine. I think it's, it's really, really snappy, you know? But the entire time he was playing on standard, I just didn't tell him. So if he thinks it's fine on standard and I'm telling you, hey, at 12 millisecond, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Boost at nine, you know, the numbers are there. Um, so at nine, it's still solid. I mean, it's still good. It's better. So I tried to see if there was any um, motion differences. I didn't see any. There were a few stutters in the game, but that actually could have been just the way Mr. Um, sends out its signal because I'm using V-Sync 2. So 
it could be one of those things where like Mr. is just like, okay, I'm, I'm just sending out what I have, single buffer, and then the TV is just taking it, it stutters here and there. But um, what's nice to know is that people have rated this TV at the 120 hertz mode, and we're talking the input lag of four millisecond. We're getting close to CRT level, folks, in terms of input delay. Um, in terms of motion, it's still some motion blur that I can pick up on these things, but I mean, honestly, for the size, you're not going to pick up a 77 inch CRT. It just doesn't exist. And if it does exist, I'd like to see it. I don't know if I can fit it in my home, but I'd like to see it. But those are the big major differences between from what I see is the CX and the, and the C1. So with that in mind, I paid the extra 500 and figured, okay, I'm going to get the c1 it's newer it's going to get later firmware updates um just certain things like that i mean you could always try to get the 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 cheap deal on the on the previous year's model because it's on clearance and it is a good idea to do that sometimes but i buy and sell so much that you know i might as well just get the latest and greatest every time i don't wind up having a tv more than a year or two anyway but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. The 77 inch C1 is pretty good. Mr. likes it. We threw Super Nintendo, Nintendo, TurboGrafx CD. Right now you see the CPS2. It handles it fine. Here, I'll just uh, take this out of here. The, 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 the big difference is also that uh, it's more like OS setup. Like they have a lot of stuff going on with that basically it's now web os 6 you know it's just more clutter i i don't i don't need this garbage i mean if i want to watch youtube i'll just use my cell phone you know things like that so i don't really use the smart apps too much i mean i'm sure many of you out there would use them and that's fine um but i don't really can't really compare them between them you know i don't really use them that often so you know that's going to be i assume a new chip it'll run faster better that sort of thing but um yeah 77 inch c1 um, once again, we have four HDMI 2.1 ports. Once again, we're still downgraded to 40 gigabits. I don't know why they did that. I mean, I can understand that maybe there was a chip shortage for the CXs, but the C9 that I sold was 48 gigabit. And, you know, I don't know what's going on with LG. I, I, maybe they figure people don't really, won't really notice, but these panels are 10 bit anyway, but I get it. It's, it's fine. I see people complaining about it, but um, yeah, this is 40 gigabits, so it is a down, it is a downgrade from the C9 in that terms. But I mean, I'm putting I'm putting the Mister on it, which is HDMI like 1.4 anyway. So, but anyway, folks, this is just a quick PSA. The C1s are out there. They're pretty inexpensive. Like I said, I got this for 31. I think the street price on this is going to be around 38. But, you know, if you, you, you have the gift of gab and know how to talk to people, then you can do it. Um, I don't know if the 77-inch C1 is actually released yet. This was supposed to be the store's display model, and I just said I'm taking it, and they said okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you might, you might have to wait a week or two before the 77-inch model is out. I know the 65s are actually out, and I believe the 55s are either out now or they'll be out very soon. So... Don't, don't, um, you know, if you just wait a little bit and you'll get your 77. And they also have, this year, they also have an 83 inch model. So if you really want to go big time, there is an 83 inch, inch model out there. Uh, but I think that's going for 6,000 for MSRP. So maybe I could probably get it down to like 5,000. I mean, that's, that's a lot to ask for. Anyway, folks, if you have any questions or comments, um, there's probably a lot of settings that, you know, I haven't delved into yet. But these are the ones that are important to me because I like playing video games. And ironically, this is the only time I'll have the Mister on the screen. Um, I do fear OLED's retention. It has not happened on this screen yet. I've been looking for it. We've had it on for about three hours. And it has not happened yet. But it is something that always looms in the back of my mind when it comes to these playing these old games. And... Um, it's just something you have to mitigate or you just have to baby it. So I have enough other screens in the house where I could just take Mr. off and put it somewhere else. But I wanted to at least demonstrate to you folks that, yes, the Mr. does work on it. It looks great, plays great. And if you have an OLED and you want to risk it, by all means, you're going to get a great image. And you're going to get something that's really tight with the input lag, especially if you use that boost mode. That takes it down to the CRT level. 
Uh, it's impressive. It really is impressive. LG is taking care of the gamers. They know it's a big market and they know people are going to gravitate towards it. I haven't even hooked up my PC with a 3070 on this thing in yet. Uh, I'll probably do something later tonight or something tomorrow. Um, but like I said, quick video just to show you guys, hey, it's out there. They're out there. The gaming features to me were worth the extra money. If not, pick up the 2020 CXs. They're on clearance. You can get a really screaming deal on them now. But if you wanted that extra gaming features, I recommend getting the C1. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good one.